Good day Grade 9 learners and welcome to Tuma Mina Teaching. Today we'll be doing our second lesson of Grade 9 EMS. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on cash transactions. The last time we focused on a few accounting concepts such as these. As I said, we'll be focusing on cash transactions that are unique to trading businesses and how they influence the CPJ and the CRJ. So grab your pen, paper, notebook and calculator and let's get busy. In a trading business, the transactions are entered into cash journals, the same thing as service businesses, except for the following differences. When goods or merchandise are bought for cash, the transactions will be recorded on the CPJ or the cash payments journal. These goods are called trading stock. Trading stock is an asset for the business because it is a good purchase with the idea of reselling it again. Trading stock normally has its own column in the CPJ. When a business sells its goods, it is recorded in the cash receipts journal or the CRJ. This process of selling goods, it's recorded as sales. The business receives income from sales. There will be a sales column in the CRJ. Cost of sales is the cost price of the trading stock that has been sold. A column will be opened for the cost of sales on the CRJ. This amount of cost of sales does not influence the cash sales, and so it does not influence cash or the bank. It is very important to remember that cost of sales and sales are like twins. Every time goods are sold for cash, the cost price is calculated and also recorded in the column of the CRJ. We want to see the cost price and the selling price of the goods sold. Sales is like an income, cost of sales is an expense. Meet Kamva Makeba. He is the founder of a coffee company called Ikasi Kofu Company. This was founded in January 2019. Kamva started out as a barista at a local coffee shop in his neighborhood. He realized that he has a passion for coffee and business. At first, he decided to start his own mobile coffee shop as he did not have enough capital to buy or rent a property. We are going to journey with Kamba to see how his business developed. Ikasi Kof company purchased trading stock for 5,500 Rand from macro wholesalers and paid by EFT. We will firstly be looking at the effect of this transaction on the accounting equation. So the effect on the left hand side of the table shows the numbers. The reason will be stated as cash bank or trading stock whether it's increasing or decreasing and the rest of the table will be filled in with other transactions. Bank is a current asset so your assets decrease because you paid and your cash or bank decreases. Remember cash consists of bank, petty cash and cash float. That's why you can write cash or bank. Your assets increase because you purchase trading stock, which is a current asset. Let's look at the accounting equation, balance. Is this correct? Yes, the assets equates to owner's equity plus the liabilities. The assets is zero. This is because a negative 5,500 Rand plus 5,500 Rand gives you zero and the equity and liability is also zero. So zero equals to zero plus zero. The accounting equation. So in this case, the accounting equation is in balance. Let's also look at the effect of this transaction on the CPJ, the cash payments journal. First thing to do is to look at all the words that help us decide in which cash journal this transaction should be recorded. If you purchase goods and paid by EFT or electronic fund transfer, you're going to write it in the CPJ. You can see that on the table, we have the document number, which is EFT number one the day which is the 20th, the details, macro wholesalers, and the bank of 5,500 Rand, and finally, the trading stock of 5,500 Rand. Let's look at an example of transaction where the business is selling goods. So let's look at Ikasikofu once again. Ikasikofu company sold goods for cash of 4,500 Rand. The cost price was 3,000 Rand. Note in this transaction, there is a selling price of 4,500 Rand. Let's look at the effect of this transaction on the accounting equation. 
assets increase by 4,500 rand because your cash or bank increases with that amount which you received. Assets decrease by 3,000 rand because your trading stock decreases. Because you sold that trading stock, it decreases. Your owner's equity increases by 1,500 rand. How did we calculate the 1,500 rand? Well, selling price minus the cost price gives you profit. The selling price equals to 4,500 rand. That is the price at which the goods are sold to customers after a profit percentage is added. The cost price is 3,000 rand, which is the original purchase price of the goods bought. So the profit is the selling price minus cost price. That means 4,500 rand minus 3,000 rand gives you 1,500 rand. So the profit is 1,500 rand. And remember, the profit increases your owner's equity, whereas a decrease in profit decreases your owner's equity. But in this case, it has increased. The effect under your owner's equity is 1,500 Rand because it is the result of the increase in cash of 4,500 Rand and the decrease in trading stock of negative 3,000 Rand. Let's look at the accounting equation balance. Is this correct? Yes. The assets 4,500 Rand minus 3,000 Rand equals to equity of 1,500 Rand plus the liability of zero in this example. This equation is in balance. So how will you record this in the journals? If you sell the goods, you are going to record it in the CRJ or the cash receipts journal. This is because you will be receiving money. This transaction will be recorded as follows. The CRR will be first entered in the document number column. Just to recap, the cash register in the shop prints the slip in duplicate. A copy remains in the cash register, which is called the cash register roll or CRR, which is used for the business's records and the original slip is handed to the customer or the client. Then the day and the details, which is the 31st and sales. The selling price of 4,500 Rand is received by the business in cash. Now remember, the payment could be done electronically or in actual cash, but it's still recorded as a cash payment. Now, it is recorded in the analysis of receipt column, then also in the sales column. The amount received, which is the selling price, will be deposited in the bank. The cost price of 3,000 Rand will also need to be recorded in the cost of sales column. Remember, the trading stock is a record of all goods purchased at cost price. This means that the cost price of the goods sold must also be recorded in the trading stock. By adding a column for cost of sales or cost of price of goods sold, this can be done. Now it's your turn to analyze the following transaction according to the answer sheets. Ika Asikofu company sells goods with a profit markup of 50% on cost price. Question number one. Ika Asikofu company bought goods from Al Manas and paid by EFT number one, 3,600 Rand. Let's see how we put this in the source documents. The assets increase because your trading stock increases. Assets also decrease because your cash or bank decreases. We bought goods or trading stock and paid by EFT. So that means the source document is, is an EFT reference number. The journal is the CPJ or the Cash Payments Journal. Okay, well done. Let's look at the next transaction. Ikasukofu company sold goods of 4,050 Rand according to the cash register role, the CRR. Okay, I hope you're done. Let's calculate the cost price first. CP equals 100%. Remember, the cost price is always a 100% plus the gross profit, which is 50% equals to the selling price of 150%. Then you must always remember to divide the unknown by the known, which is 100 divided by 150 times 4,050 Rand, which equals to 2,700 Rand. The cost price is 2,700 Rand. So now we know that the sold goods is 4,050 Rand, which is the selling price. And the cost price is 2,700 Rand. Assets increase with a selling price of 4,050 
because we received the money as it also decreases with the cost price of 2700 rand because the trading stock decreases we sold it now profit increases the owner's equity because 4050 rand minus 2700 rand equals to 1350 a positive sign the source document is a cash register role a crr the journal is the crj because the business received money or cash well done grade nines you've done it this was a very tough lesson in the next lesson we'll be looking at the effects of cash transactions on the accounting equation see you next time moving over to the summary of this lesson here are the key concepts of what we learned today pause and write them down